Hey guys, so I'm trying something a little bit different. The last video took about six hours to upload, so uh, I'm trying slightly shorter videos, um, slightly more often. The internet connection here isn't exactly great. So the last few days uh, have been really good. Um, I said that a lot, but things are really, really good. So on Monday, I was at a dive site called Flamingo, um, with a couple of people just doing some fun dives. There's always loads of life down at Flamingo, so it's, uh, it's a really good dive. They also had a GoPro with them, so hopefully I can get some footage off that and you can see something like, I don't know, some fish rather than just me. So hopefully I have that for you soon. On Tuesday I started my mapping project. So I'm going to try something here, so bear with me if this doesn't work. So this is Lanzarote. This is Puerto del Carmen, where I am. and where the dive shop is. And this is Playa Chica, where we do a lot of our diving. It's really beautiful down here. You've got um, the secluded bay for some of the early courses, the discover scuba diving, the open water, things like that. Anyway, you need to use confined water, but then it opens out in both directions. Uh, there's some amazing things down here at uh, various depths. So there's, there's things for everyone to see. And this is very roughly the area that I'm mapping. So the idea is to create a dive map that can be used in briefings for open water students. So that's uh, down to about 18 meters. It needs to show landmarks, depths, uh, distances, compass bearings, anything that needs to be identifiable during a briefing or that the students may need to be aware of. So on Tuesday, I started the mapping process did one dive in the morning that covered quite a good proportion of it actually. Got a good rough outline of where things are, some depth measurements. Um, there's some gaps that obviously need filling in and there's some areas we didn't even go to, so we'll need to come back for that. But it's, it's certainly a good start. Just as a quick comparison, this is what I've got so far. And this is an example of a professional dive map that we use in our briefings. This covers a larger area than mine will and goes down deeper, but it kind of gives you an idea of, of the end result. Second dive on Tuesday was to, partly to carry on the mapping, so to have a look at some more westerly parts of the area. But it was also a guided dive with a customer, which I was leading. So I grabbed a couple of measurements on my way, but went slightly off course from where I was expecting to be, which was fine for the dive itself because it was the direction we needed to go in, but it meant I didn't get very much of my mapping done. The rest of the dive was actually amazing. Uh, it was along to the blue hole, and along the way we saw massive tuna and huge stingray. And overall a successfully guided dive, so I was really, really pleased with that. Today is Wednesday, and today Martin was back in with some DSDs, some Discover Scuba Divers. So again, these are people doing their, their very first experience of diving, they may never have done it before. In fact, these three had never tried it before at all. So I had two adults and a, a boy, it was another really, really good experience. While they all started off quite timid and apprehensive, uh, very, very quickly they realised how amazing it was and really got into it, to the extent that they started playing around with their gear, which meant a lot of work for me and Martin. But overall, another really, really good experience. So that's it for this time. Hopefully next time I'll have some underwater shots to share with you. And I'll try to keep these videos brief, but more often. As always, any comments or questions, please do let me know, and I'll see you next time.